Hi, I'm Lias Kamper, a developer advocate in one LinkedIn Human Apps Flyer. And I would like to talk to you today about our brand new OneLink REST API Explorer. The Explorer will allow you to explore and use the commands dynamically as you read through the, the documentation and get more details. In order to run the Explorer, the dashboard user of Apps Flyer would need to supply you uh, two things. First, if you go to engagement and deep linking under one link, a template ID in order to create one link short links, I'm going to use H5HV. Here, you scroll down to the command that you would like to explore. Here you go, and I'll do H5HV. And as you can see, while you type in the parameters, they're actually changing. The example here, we have a multilingual example that you can copy paste anywhere. It will actually change our copy paste. So this is my template. And in order to actually run it, you press the lock and the apps fire dashboard user will also supply you with your one link API key token under integration API access. Please scroll down the bottom of the page and copy paste the one link API key. Paste it in the authorization and that's it. So again, we have the template, you can use whatever TTL, again, again, you would like to explore for the data of the short link, the specific short link that we'll run. Just copy paste our, our example, and let me just change yellow bananas to brown bananas, just for the experiment, and for fruit amount, let's do 15. Again, just data you can punch in, press right, and I got a one link, like a true one link, a short link, there is the template and there is the short link ID. Now let's play with it a little more. Let's go to get, before that, let's copy the short link ID. I'm gonna go to get. This is the template. This is short link ID. I'm gonna go again with right. And here we go. This is the data that I punch in using the create. And if you're curious about the metadata that comes back with each command, just spread the metadata here and you can get all the full details of the response that came back if you'd like to integrate that those details into your code. Now let's talk about error codes, which are very important when you're working with an API Explorer. And um, let's assume I would like to delete. Okay, again, you can see all the, um, all the error codes here, I'm gonna go try it. Now this is a success code. It's okay, again, with all the metadata. If you're gonna try again to delete, I'm actually getting an error with all the metadata. That's an okay error, okay? So that means that's a true error because they, they didn't find the link. And again, if you want to test and see which kind of error you're getting, you're getting with each one of the scenarios that you might be experiencing, you're gonna get this error here and you're gonna be safe and sound, taking all the details from the error and incorporating that, integrating that into your code. So thank you very much and I wish you a lot of success using this new tool.